Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. Yes, I did something. By the physical, what you're seeing in the video right now, I have a small box in front of me. And for some people will know exactly the physical size of this box. But if I take this tape measure here, and let's say 34 inches long. And we are at 26 wide by 12 inches thick. It's not a small RC. And it's called the Arma Creighton EXB Roller Extreme Basher. Let's open the box and see what's inside. I know first thing there's another box, but let's open the first one. And let's see this very small RC. We have a small glimpse what's inside. The Arma, Arma EXB Extreme Bash. Large scale full option roller. Fifth scale all wheel drive Extreme Bash electronic speed control monster truck. Yep, it's a big box. Let's do this. Now let's try to find a way to do this. The flip, yep. Now you might see a lot of cardboard for a second here. I can't even make it fit the screen. Not big enough for the, the physical uh, yeah, I'm zoomed out completely. I would need to put my camera higher, but it is what it is. That's the first box open. Let's open the second box. Flip this one on the side. Oh, the seven of guns. There's tape on the side of the box too. And we have a box in the box. This is probably some accessories that we'll check a little bit later on. This is not a small. This is not small. It's so big the camera has a hard time focusing. <clears throat> guys here now one of the first thing I do love about Arma what they did in their uh, fifth scale like this guy and even with the uh, one six or even one eight is the body clip it is on uh, a, a leash or a tenor I had I'm not sure how you said exactly retainer that keeps your body clip from flapping everywhere but what I do love that there is a body protector at the same time that you put on then you put your body clip on it 
protects your body at the same time and prevents it from basically starting cracking. That I do love. And one of the reasons I'm not just ripping this plastic completely off, I just want to protect the body as long as possible before I start using this machine. <clears throat> Because there is an option coming for this truck right now. I didn't receive it yet. And if you look inside, there is a protector that attaches to the main strut of the vehicle to prevent the top from caving in if you do flip the machine. And like the motto that Arma says, don't just bash it, blast. Have a blast with it. Now this is a roller, basically there's no electronics in it, that's on its way very soon. Uh, debating between Hobby Wing or Castle right now, probably going to lean towards uh, Hobby Wing depending if I can get it in time, uh, if not I might go with uh, Castle, but again not 100% sure on that part, we'll see. Uh, even servo-wise, I might go with a uh, Savox or even a Power HD. Um, just not, just debating again. I'm not 100% sure what's going to be going in this vehicle. And uh, yeah, but enough blabbing about what I'm going to put in it. Let's talk about it a bit. It has the big shocks. All aluminum. Uh, the turnbuckles itself, they're plastic. The rod is steel. The main pro chassis prote protector or stabili stabilizer protector, but uh, stiffening for the chassis to put a little bit more solid. Uh, all aluminum red. The other thing I do love, they're not, they, they're not hold by screws. It's a body clip to a pin that you remove it and you're able to basically pull the pin out and you have your link it's flopping super easy to pop them off you do need to remove the transmission because uh, it's a couple of screws that holds underneath you remove it you're done and you pop this pin back and put that body clip back in and you're off to the races. The front one, the two front ones, the middle one, the top one, the back ones are all being held by body clips. Super easy to swap out. Or if you do need to do some adjustments. Uh, big bore shocks front and rear. Massive wing. The chassis on this thing is all aluminum. It's the 7075 aluminum. It's a thickness of... Uh, almost close to a quarter of inch uh, thickness. Uh, it's just, it's, it's literally mind blowing the size of this thing. Let's flip it and see what that armor puts underneath this vehicle. This is one thing I do love for uh, extreme bashers. It's not just a plain Jane underneath vehicle this one like their model don't just bash blast exb extreme bash 7075 aluminum if you can if you can read this just send it yeah if you can read that just send it original uh when motor works <laughs> i do love this comment right here not sure if you guys can see it here. And will it focus? That's awesome. Literally awesome. 24 mil. Uh, is it? I'm not sure if it is 24 mil or it could be. Yes, it is 24 mil X's on this guy. The main exterior nut is 24. It has a protector in the back of the chassis itself. It's 
beefy solid front bumper you do have the protective sides like Arma is known for. Pretty much all their vehicles has this. When you are driving, all the dirt and stuff just hits this and goes on the ground instead of being bombarded inside the vehicle itself. Twin battery. Fair size and you can extend them. The other thing I do love, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it here. But on the chassis, it has measurements for your battery. That way, let's say one battery is supposed to be eight inches. You know exactly how to put the other one. What I'm going to try to do here, see if the camera will let me. Oh, yeah. And stays in focus. Come on. There you go. You see here 7075 aluminum and you see the measurements here. See it a little better on the other side. Propped it. And there you go. You see the measurements here. I want to zoom out a bit. Should have put something on my table, but it's a little bit bright. Uh, what else? Uh, the physical body mounts for the body, they're wide. Front and rear. It just, it's, everything's beefy, beefy on this vehicle. It's just, yeah. It's massive. Now, if we look a little bit more into the characteristic of this vehicle here, uh, aluminum sliding motor mount. Uh, and you have the basic, basic, wow, basically, the, even the holder for the hubs. Now you can't see it because it's underneath right here. You might be able to, it's a little bit harder to see. I'll see if I can. Right here, I'm not sure if you can see it. The knuckle itself is plastic, yes. It's a little bit harder plastic, but, but both side of the knuckle where the steering servo goes onto it, it's basically a piece of plastic and two piece of aluminum doing a sandwich to put a little bit stronger. That's one of the things I do love. And the rear knuckles are 100% all plastic too, but it's a beefier plastic. Even if you look at the A-arms itself, there's less holes in them. A lot of other companies you'll see that half of this is bored out. They kept it bored in. More plastic, a little bit more solid, can take a little bit more, uh, more of a beating. The other thing too, the, uh, the knuckles, but the uh, pivot balls here, the retainers steel over the plastic to keep it a little bit more solid itself. Yeah, I just, I do love this machine. Uh, beefier tires on it too. One of the things I do, I do notice um yeah it's just it's a, just can't wait for the snow to leave and then be able to get everything for it it is a new release from arma they do have other machines that are exbs they do have it in the 18 series i do have a video on that um but that one was just a loaner that was lent to me for the video this one's a little bit different here I'll be able to beat, beat it, bash it, blast it, and send it like Irma says. And believe me, it will be sent. One of the other things too that I didn't mention on the body itself, it has the body protectors on top. If you do flip it, you'll see a little bit of a sparks because of the screws and prevent the body from getting ruined. But between me and all of you guys, it's going to get scratched up. That's a guarantee. And let's go see what we have goodies in this box. <sighs> okay. That's the other receiver, receiver box for the receiver and the servo. I see the gasket here. 
because you do have two options of servo size in here. We do have our trusty manuals with the uh, 24 mil X and some kind of Oh, for maybe the, uh, or some sorry, C clip, things like that, they give you a tool for it. Nice. What else we have here? This looks like yeah, that, the servo saver. And not small. Believe me, this is impressive. What else do we have? This is for the shocks, shock bladders. Pistons, and we have the motor mount, and we do have a massive pinion. Need to check up on this. I'm not sure if that's a pinion or not, but uh, yeah, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. It's the only vehicle that comes pre-installed with the sway bars. It's right here. Not sure if you can see it because I don't have that great of lighting today. And front and rear sway bars. And the other thing too, the rear brace here, that's part of holding the diff and the chassis and the middle brace. It's a beefy metal. Seriously, uh, Arma really did well with this truck here. I'm very impressed and can't wait to send it. Basically, in a nutshell, this is the Arma Creighton 8S EXV Roller. Stay tuned for more videos about this guy here. Uh, right now, it was just the unveil of the truck. I'm waiting on the power system. Again, decision between two, uh, two brands, Hobby Wing or Castle. Worst case, let me know which one I should go with, the Hobby Wing or the Castle system. KV, probably 1100 or 800 KV, not 100% sure again. And Servo Decision now, Savox or Power HD. Fifth scale servos, that's for sure. And leave me a comment below which one you think I should go with. Or, yeah. And if you did not, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I do appreciate it and does help a lot. And if you did like this video, hit the thumbs up in that corner here. And thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Thank you for watching.